So what do we want to achieve? We have an Excel file with two tables close to each other. One table lists all the employees with their department, the role that they have and the substitute. And the other list basically says this employee has a boss and this is the boss. We're going to open this in Wyatt. We say OK. We choose a tree layout. And this is what we want to achieve. We want to see that the CEO has some direct reports, that we have different departments and people that belong into those departments. How to do this? We will see in the following sections. So, in order to create the node type, the template node for our org chart, we simply pick an already existing shape node, put it here, and we adapt it. What we're doing is we're going to first create a label text field which is going to be used for the role. Um, what I want to do is I want to make sure that we have a certain formatting here. So what I do, I select the text field. I say the placement is going to be inside and from the top. Furthermore, I want the font style to be bold and we're going to make a little bit an inset from the top 20 and all the other insets are zero. Now let's add a second label which will hold the name. We can select this label by pressing the control key and clicking on it. And then again, we'll change the placement. The placement is going to be internal. The position will be top. Uh, we leave it in the plain font, but again, we'll change the inset. Um, we're going to give some space between the role and the name. And you can see it's put in here. Finally, we will add a third label which will hold the name of the substitute. And again, we click through with control. Click, we can click overlaying. We can select overlaid label texts. Change the placement again. You can arrange this just according to your preferences and do it like this. This will be the template for our org chart. Now that we have a template for our org chart, we're going to add this to our palette in order to be able to use it later with automatic assignments. We do this by starting the palette manager. We create a new section that we're going to call org chart. It's an empty section. It's going to be input here. I like to place it a little bit on top. That's it. And now right mouse click, add to palette, org chart. Now we've got it here and we can simply use it as the template. If we want to import an Excel into Wyatt, we can or should use a mapping. This is what we're going to do right now. Go to Edit, Properties Mapper 
and we're going to create a new configuration. We can choose to add a configuration for nodes, or for edges, both of them can be helpful. We will have this both of them in the end. I choose new configuration for nodes. I call this configuration org chart. I'm going to use a single template for nodes. This means whatever comes in from the Excel is going to be mapped to this single template and what template are we going to use you can guess this one so this is what we're going to do and I say okay so this is the Excel that we are going to import into Wyatt it basically consists of two sections. One is the node list with its properties and the other one is the edge list which shows the connections. For every single node I have one line and the line consists of the fields for name, department, role and potentially a substitute. Later on we will see how we're going to map the contents of these cells to the values in the model and then from these variables, data variables in the model towards the display. But again, for every single node we have one line here and then for every line that's going to be drawn between the nodes we have one line here and I did choose the member boss direction but you can do it either way uh, this means that there is a line going from Albert Einstein to Niels Bohr and it's of type D this again is an attribute to the edge you will see this later. Uh, just a hint, um, because we want to make sure that the nodes are really uniquely identified and that we have not a type or something like this, what you can see is I did put a reference in the Excel so that I don't write the name of one person twice and it's always a variable. Of course you also have to understand that if you move individual lines or cells on the node list via the mouse for example Excel will be too smart and will also adjust uh, the references unless you use dollar signs or stuff like that but in the end you will be able to handle this I'm sure So now we are ready to import the Excel file. Although I have to say it's not an import, it's an opening of the file with a different view in Wyatt. Uh, let me also tell you that there seems to be a bug, something that prevents from applying the template that we generated for the node correctly during import using the mapping that we did previously. In order to circumvent this uh, you simply go, you select the node type that you want to be used for the import and make it the default simply by double clicking on it and you do the same for the edge type. So now we're ready to import. We open the XLS and we get a view of the data in there. First thing that we're going to do is we're going to tell the system where's the data for the edge. So we select the part of the Excel file that has the information about the edges and we click on adopt and it will simply take over the range. Now we're going to tell the system where our which column is the source and adopt and which column is the target. So if we would be using now directed edges that means arrows and the arrow would go from the boss to the member 
In this case, we won't see it, but it's basically the way the tree is going to be built up. Also, uh, we have checkmarked property names in the first row. Second thing we have to tell is where are the nodes. Again, we select the range of cells in the node, adopt this, and now we have to tell which column in this area does create the ID, the unique ID for the individual nodes. It's the column A. We could also specify which column uh, can be used to group the individual nodes together. Like in a department, and this is, you guess it, uh, the row B, but we won't do this for right now. Uh, then we will skip to the presentation tab. Here we can tell that we're going to use a configuration for the import. So we select the charge. We don't have an edge configuration. And we say, OK. And here we go. Um, if we zoom into this, we will see, oops, role, name, and substitute are not substituted. Um, well, we have to do something there. <clears throat> what you can see is if we select one individual node that in the properties views, all of a sudden we have custom data here. We have a name, a department, a role, and a substitute. This comes because, of course, we have these different columns for the nodes in the data. And uh, now we're going to go to the properties mapper <clears throat> and we're going to tell the node configuration org chart that we have additional conversions to make. Basically, we say the field role goes to the label text automatic label number one. We add another mapping. The name goes to the label text in automatic mode, but it's going to be the label number two. And we add a third one, <coughs> which is the substitute, and it's the label number three. What we could also be doing is that we create another configuration for the edges. We say this is again org chart for the edges. We say we're going to use a template. So this is also something that you might want to do. Now, edit, properties manager, apply. And here we go. We have the individual nodes in here. One last thing, we need to change the layout. I like a layout in a tree style. It's called directed tree style. And what I'm telling the system here is that if there are non-tree edges which go, go the straight tree, then use orthogonal. Um, I'm also using on the directed tab some tweaks here. I want to have orthogonal edge routing, so we have corners, and I want my siblings stacked to the right. That means those leaves of the tree that have no further uh, entries below it are stacked over each other on a right of the edge and you will see what it looks like here. And here we go. You have a CEO on the top, you have the others below and this is what stack to the right looks like.